So we're back with the continuation of D&D &D, um, Adventures. Welcome back everybody. It's been a while since we uh, played <clears throat> this quest. And as you can see, there's quite a lot going on on the board. We're getting closer and closer to our final objective, which is the Dire Chamber. Or is it a Horrid Chamber? It's one of the chambers, <laughs> anyway, that we're looking for. Um, we received some information in town that in the diet chamber we can find some clues with regards to where the Dracolich, the Dracolich uh, might be located. This is our arch enemy for, for this playthrough. So immediately after that we will probably go um, and hunt for the Dracolich himself or herself. So, yeah, she will look absolutely fantastic when she's painted. It's not that often that she gets to the board, but still, I really like her miniature. Anyways, she's our arch enemy, and we're looking for clues with regards to where she's located, to her lair. And we've been told in, in the tavern that if we find the dire chamber in our mission, we might come across some useful information there. We'll see about that. So, this is the beginning of a new turn. All our heroes are fully rest, well, rested. <laughs> they, can, they can be activated and, and proceed with their actions. We have two tiles left to explore, and one of them is a dire chamber, that's for sure. We have, of course, more three different stacks of tiles, but these are the constructed tiles, especially for, for the mission based on the instructions of the quest. We have a blessing still active, a heroic stun that gives us the, what does it, what is it that, that it does? Uh, gain a bonus to attack rolls equal to the number of monsters on the tile, right? And this was Haskin who, uh, activated that blessing. So as soon as Haskin activates this blessing will um, be expired. Okay, so it will be useful to use the blessing, um, You well activate Haskin as the very last hero. Okay, we have a spider and a young, and a young vampire on the board. And hmm... We have some options here to explore in, in the, uh, what's it called? Irina Koliana's Crypt. Uh, there's the room event deck card waiting for us to explore it. But do we really want to do it or should I just rush it? I could potentially explore in this direction, say, activate with our cleric and move, uh, what's his speed? Five. One, two, three, four, five. Not enough. So he won't be able to reach that. I could potentially move Heskin's wizard eye here and explore in this direction. And maybe this is where the dire chamber is. I don't know. But then we will lose the heroic stand. But do we really need it? I'm not so sure if we really need the heroic stamp. I have a feeling that if we uh, come across the dire chamber um, <clears throat> tile, it'll force us to spawn yet another, yet another um, boss, right? So I think it would be worthwhile for us to get rid of that vampire before that happens. So maybe, is it really worth? Hmm, is it really worth exploring that crypt? Or maybe I can retreat with uh, Rogue here and use my <coughs> and use my positioning shot on on the vampire. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, I activate with my with my rogue and I go one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh 
One, two, three, four, five. Uh, let's say six. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, six. Like that. Is it six that his speed is? Yeah, it's six. So then I use positioning shot. Can you see it? Just, you can just see it or maybe there. Doesn't really matter. Positioning shot, seven plus. Don't have any, do not have anything to boost my damage with. His AC is 16, so it's quite high so how about i shoot that spider whose ac is 15. i will not be able to kill but the yeah but the the, the spider will kill itself okay yeah okay all right oh that's his health where's my d20 there it is okay let's roll it i need nine don't i oh seven let's Roll it again. It's 12, okay, because it was cocked over there. So 12 plus 7 is 19. I will pump it up with my Furious Assault. Use this power when you hit a monster with an attack. That monster takes plus 1 damage. So 2 damage goes through. He's down to 1. This gets flipped, exhausted, in other words. This goes back to his thing, okay. I did not do anything, but hang on. What does the positioning shot says? Hit or miss, place that monster on any square on your tile or an adjacent tile. <laughs> on your tile. Do I want to put him on my tile? But if I put him on my tile, I can put him anywhere. It says on any square on your tile. Look at that. I will do it. And I'll put it there, just in the blade barrier trap, and it just falls into a trap and is dealt one more damage and it dies. Fantastic. Look at that, okay? So he's that he dies. Well, I don't get any XP for him, which is a shame. Well, shame really, yeah, but I will get treasure for you, okay? I can't imagine anything else. Let's see what it is. It is a crystal ball. Use this item during your hero phase instead of attacking. Reveal the top card of any card deck or the top tile of any tile stack. Meh. Okay. Tarak will keep that. Well, I suppose it might come in handy in certain situations, but it's not one of them right now, <laughs> I have to say. I'll put this uh, vampire back on the shelf with other vampires, demons and, and, and witches from Folklore the Affliction, <clears throat> because this is where he comes from originally. Okay, so he did not explore, so he needs to draw an encounter card, which is a spell web. A snare of webs holds Loth's foes. Attack each hero on your hero style. Plus eight immobilized. Okay, it's not that bad. I can be immobilized. Okay, eight plus. Kayla first. 12, 20, she's immobilized. Um, our cleric is immobilized and our rogue is also immobilized. So all three of them are immobilized. Okay, cannot move. So one, two, three. Right, and that gets discarded. Well, it wasn't that bad in the end. I managed to get rid of managed to get rid of that vampire and that is the most important thing I was hoping for. Mm -hmm. Right, so what is it that we want to do? What is it that we want to do since I cannot move? Okay, so here, it, here here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to activate with my cleric who We'll use his, where is that, um, Sacred Flame, right, attack one monster within one tile of you, um, the spider, for six plus, and if I do that, I will heal Caleb and she will get rid of Immobilized, okay, 
10 plus 6 is 16 and spider's AC is 15. So the spider dies, I get 2 XP. I get a treasure, which is a box of caltrops. Oh, that's fantastic. That's fantastic because I can drop three caltrops. It's like blade barriers. Great, awesome. I just uh, hope I have, yeah, I have the tokens here. Handy, fantastic. So it's like an additional blade barrier. So that's what he got. Let's get rid of these. He dies, the spider dies. I'll put it back on the shelf with all the other decent painted minis. Uh, these go back to his play area. He heals one and Caleb, she gets rid of that as a result of uh, Quinn's heroic ability. Discard this condition at the end of your hero phase. This is the end of my hero phase. I did not explore, I did not move, so I draw an encounter card which is Occupied Lair. I think we've seen that one before. Many creatures call the caves below the mountain home. Draw a tile from the bottom of the tile stack. Place the tile next to the closest unexplored edge. Draw a monster card and place its figure on that tile. Place one treasure token on that tile. Right, we have three tiles. I'll just pick one at random. Uh, these are just the two, okay? Like this. So I'll just put one from the middle, this one, ooh, underground river, right? It's a white triangle. <clears throat> so which one is the closest? One, two, three, one, two, three, three, one, two. Unfortunately, this is the closest one, which is a terrible shame. <laughs> okay, underground river. Okay, let's find, do we have a name? That's Ravenloft, that's a Shardalon, Drizzit, 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 Drizzit. Underground River, of course, there is, there is one. Mm -hmm. Randomly select one of the double-sized destination tiles not used by the current adventure and place it next to the unexplored edge of the underground tile. Immediately draw a rune event card for the, un for the revealed tile. If no double-sized destination tiles are available, discard this card and draw a new underground river room event card. Double-sized destination these are the start tiles what are what are the double sized destination cards tiles i mean i don't know to be honest with you hmm. one of the double sized destination tiles not used by the current adventure and place it next to the unexplored edge Oh, that's uh, really interesting. Let me just quickly double check. Let me just quickly double check that. So apparently I left these three in in the box for Legend of Drizzt. We have a Lucky, uh, Lucky, <laughs> Rocky Lair, Surface Hollow, Narrow Passage, connecting through it, and Ancient Throne. Okay, let's shuffle these. And I don't know. Of course, the one in the middle, which is the ancient throne. Whew. Are we going to fit in there? It will be tough to fit there, but we'll try and do our best. Ancient throne. What is it that we have to do at the ancient throne? Okay, we have the ancient throne cards. There's some um, just these. Yeah, and let's take this one. It told us to resolve it. And uh huh, no, okay. Ancient throne. A huge troll lounges on the throne, picking his teeth with a finger bone. The active hero searches the monster deck and discard pile for, <laughs> for 
referral troll and place it, it places it on the throne room if available. <laughs> Just killed the bugger. <laughs> oh come on. That's unlucky. Ah, uh, but that's so fun. So much fun. Ah, uh, that's just not enough room for all that to take place. There's one more thing I forgot about. Let me put that away. Just need to make sure we have enough room for that because that might be really interesting. You, you probably cannot see majority of the of the dungeon right now. Um, let's see if I can make it slightly more visible for you. Uh huh. Right, I think I've got it all covered now. With all these room events deck <clears throat> cards, it it can sometimes become slightly overwhelming but let me uh, talk you through this the very first count was a card that we drew was the encounter card in, in occupied lair that forced us to draw a random card from the bottom of the stack which was the underground river and it also told us to draw a monster right then let's see and oh, no no as a result of that we will just draw a monster like so a gargoyle and this is our gargoyle that we have painted. And sh this gargoyle will spawn here. Okay, we will roll for, for this room to see if we have any traps. We have three traps. So let's say one, two, and the end of bridge is trapped as well. Right, then uh, it also told us to spawn one treasure one treasure so a treasure we have a chest any nice looking chest let's say i don't know let's let's do it like this okay okay so that's that's that card okay let's get rid of that so we have the gargoyle <clears throat> okay then the underground river forced us to spawn uh, one of the double-sided destination uh, tiles, and then resolve its <clears throat> its um, room event stack, and it told us to spawn the feral troll on the throne right there. <laughs> okay, and we also roll for traps, and the entrance to the en ancient throne is trapped as well so there we are let's get rid of these cards right now clear them off the board and this is what just happened and there's quite a lot that just happened okay as a result of that and this was who was it was it tarak no it was quinn wasn't it it was quinn who activated so they're in in quinn's play area so they will activate now at the villain phase so the gargoyle was first, and it says if it's within one tile, it's not. Otherwise, it, it does nothing. So it just stays there waiting for anyone to come in range. Feral troll, on the other hand, if it is within one tile, it's not. Otherwise, the feral troll regains all lost hit points and moves one tile towards the hero with the fewest hit points. So it just moves one, and, and that's that. Woo! Okay. <laughs> All right. So we're getting there. Um, the 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 map is, is is growing more and more by the minute. So yeah. So that's what it is. Okay. Let me readjust the camera slightly so you can see the play area like so. Whew. Okay. So. Um, Tarak, Cleric, Quinn, the Cleric, they, they, they have been activated, so now it's Wizard, it's our Wizard, and Kaleth. Huh. Where is the nearest 
Where's the nearest unexplored edge that I could go towards? I think it's this one here, actually. So Caleb, what's her speed? It's six, isn't it? If it's six, then can I go one, two, three, four, five, six? Not enough. Can I go through the through the bridge? And but then I would have to defeat these two guys, but I will have to defeat them anyway. So maybe it's better for me. Or maybe I can go through here. Everything is heavily trapped. I really don't know what am I supposed to do. So I'll go one, two, three, four, five, and I will spend one action to try and disarm the trap. And it is a dud. <laughs> Nothing there. So one, two, three, four, five. No. One, two, three, four, five, six. I couldn't reach, but then I moved in uh, into a volcanic vent and it just uh, debuffs me with minus two AC. I haven't explored anything, so I need to draw an encounter card, which is Arrow Volley. An ancient dwarven trap launches dozens of arrows against intruders. Choose one hero. Attack each hero and each monster. Each hero and monster. Oh, I wish I had any monsters on there. Seven plus, okay. It's a nine plus seven is 16 and my AC is 17. So the arrows do not do any damage. Okay, so that was Caleb. Now it's, it's Heskin, our wizard who can do some wizardy stuff. How about if I move over there with my wizard eye, I can explore here and maybe I can, you know, find the dire chamber. I could have done it in the other way. Well, never mind. Are we going to move first? I suppose so, because I have no enemies in my area. So, I do not attack anybody since there's no one in the area. So I move one, two, three, four, and I explore in that direction. And I have two tiles left. And the very first one is, woo, a dire chamber entrance at last. At last. I suppose we need to move, slide everything to the right. Don't we? Because this is going to be I think a rather, a rather, oh come on, huge expansion of the map. And we want to make sure that we have everything in place. Okay, let me find the adventure book first, because there may be some special instructions with regards to, oh, that's Castle Ravenloft. No, no, we need a shard alone. And mysterious chamber, mysterious chamber. Here we go, mysterious chamber. And it says, when you reveal the dire chamber, after traveling through winding passages and finding unspeakable monsters, you finally find the entrance to a mysterious chamber. Special adventure rules. When a hero reveals the dire chamber entrance style, read the text below, which we just have done. Draw a place. Draw and place the tiles labeled Dire Chamber next to each unexplored edge to the chamber entrance. These tiles form the mysterious chamber. Right, let's do it. So let's do just that. Okay, we have that many. We need at least two. So one, and I don't know, two. Okay, let's have a look. This one is white triangle like that and that one is also a white triangle like that so these three form a dire mysterious chamber okay draw a top card of the chamber deck to determine the contents of mysterious chamber and the final goal for this adventure follow the directions on the card to fill the mysterious chamber. victory the heroes win the the adventure by accomplishing the goal specified on the chamber card that was drawn. Defeat replay. 
this adventure is actually 14 adventures since there are 14 different chamber cards in the game. Each time you play this adventure, you're in for a completely different experience and challenge. Yeah, of course, okay. That's just a cheap way to, uh, to do that. But I suppose this is the, the way it is. However, let's see what we get. Is this 14? 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So why do you say it's 14? So where are the other two? Where are the other two cards then? Huh. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I don't have 14. Mm. I'll look it up, you know, later on. However, let's draw a card, and it is a prison guard. Each player draws a villager card and places the token on any chamber tile. Place the Duragar captain on the chamber entrance. Starting with the active hero, each player draws a monster card and places a monster on a chamber tile. Place monsters on tiles that have no monsters first and so on. The goal is to destroy all monsters before all villagers are killed. And then, if, I, if you watch my previous videos, I will always make sure that at least one of our characters, one of our heroes, makes it back to the, to the exit so they can claim the rewards in town. Otherwise, if we just kill all the monsters there, duh, it's not the end of the, of the quest. We need to retreat through the dungeon to, uh, to escape. So... Um, I think we will stop right here. I will set it up off camera and I'll, um, I suppose I'll see you shortly in the next episode. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> we have the Feral Troll and Duragar Captain. Uh, Duragar Captain, I suppose that's, that's his mini, right? I think it is. Yeah, it is a Duragar captain. So we'll look up his um, um, villain card. And then we'll populate the Dia chamber and fulfill all uh, requirements that the uh, chamber card asks us to do. Right, so that's that. That's it for, for this episode. Thank you very much uh, for being here. I'll see you shortly. Bye bye.